And we start discussion of our solids by discussing the structure of crystal. So, generally, imagine that you have a box. Now, each corner of the box contains a quarter of an atom. What is this thing? This is one eighth of atom. So now, when I take the same box and put here, and put here, and put here, and then put it on the top, I will construct a three-dimensional network of atoms. It will be exactly the same in every place of this crystal. Now, the question is, how many different cells like that I can have? It turns out the answer is 14. And now we are going to derive all of them. So, how do I derive them? First, I have to think about the shape of this cell. So I have here some distance A, that would be distance B, and this would be distance C. Let's call this angle alpha. Let's call this angle beta. And let's call this angle gamma. So now, I have the simplest situation. A equal B equal C. Alpha equal beta equal gamma equal 90 degrees. Uh, just to s start, this thing is called unit cell. And now I'm saying there are 14 different types of unit cells, and we are going to draw them. This is the first type of unit cell, and you called it cubic. unit cell. Next situation, A equal to B but different than C. Angles still equal 90 degrees.
And this is called tetragonal. Next one, all of them different. but angle still 90 degrees. This one is called orthorhombic. Okay, so what we are doing, at the beginning we had a perfect cube, then we just stretch one of the walls. Now we stretch the other of the walls, they are different. Now we have to start modifying angles. So what we do, we just take this bar and we just push it down. What happens? Finally we get something like that. First I draw it and then we discuss it. They would come here, but now we pushed it down. You see what happened, right? This angle, I call it gamma is not 90 degrees anymore. But this, this angle, alpha, and this angle, beta, they are still 90 degrees. So we have the situation where A, um, let's start with A, different than B, different than C, different than A, A equal, um, <laughs> alpha equal beta equal 90 degrees, but gamma different than 90 degrees. This is called monoclinic. Okay, the next one we can obtain by removing this condition. How to do this? We just take this point and push there. What we get? Then we get, I start writing from this corner.
I'm not very good at drawing. Maybe these two should meet, yes. No, I'm probably not going to draw it. But imagine that you take these two points and you stretch them. Okay, That's what I was trying to draw, but yeah, it turns out to be a bit difficult. If you can, that's good. I cannot. In this case, that it's not finished, it should be finished around here, uh, you would have A different than B, different than C, different than A, alpha different than beta, different than a gamma, different than alpha. General case. And this one is called tree cleaning. Okay, there are two more types. One type is coming from here. We take a cube, A, B, C, the same. So A, A, A. And we take the same angles. So alpha, alpha, alpha. And what we do, we just stretch it here and here. So what we are getting to get, all the sides will be still the same, all the angles will be still the same, but not 90 degrees. Okay, so similar situation to this, but here was A, B, C different. Here A, B, C are the same, angles are the same. This is called a trigonal. And you can write it like A equal B equal C, alpha equal beta equal gamma smaller than 90 degrees. Of course, if these angles will be smaller than 90 degrees, some other angles will be larger than 90 degrees. But I mean, it, let's me assume that you know what I'm talking about. Trigona. Good. There is one more type left that is not related to those. And the one more type that is left looks uh, once again. One. It looks more or less like that. Now, here, the angle is 120 degrees. Here, the angle is 90 degrees. Or maybe instead of better here, it's better to say here. Here is 90, and here is 92. Now, this one has the same AA, and this is different. So 
So as you see, this is a special type of this structure when the tetragonal is distorted from 90 degrees to 120 degrees. And this one is called hexagonal. So I have A equal, uh, okay, I call this one C. A equal B, different than C. Now, this was alpha, this was beta, and that was gamma. Alpha equal beta equal 90 degrees, and gamma equal 120 degrees. This is called hexagonal. Okay, these are all types of unit cells. Now we are combining these unit cells with the with placing of atoms inside. Now, if I place one atom that way, why I'm saying one atom? Somebody would say there's eight atoms. Well, this is true. There is eight times times one eighth. So totally one atom. One atom is inside. One eight, one eight, one eight, one eight, one eight. Totally one atom. If I place one atom like that, this is called primitive cell. And usually it's denoted with the letter P. I can place the atoms a bit differently, not only one of them inside. So I always start with this, putting something here, something here, something here. So the primitive cell is always the starting point to whatever I do the farther. Now the next part, I can put not one atom inside, but I can to put two atoms inside. And if I want to put two atoms inside, I put the second atom in a strange position. I put it between these two and between these two in the center. This is exactly in the center of the cell, okay? And this one is called body centered. Cell. And if I remember correctly, the letter for body centered is and the letter for body center is I. I guess the I coming from inside. Good. There is another way of putting two atoms inside a cell. And another way of putting two atoms inside a cell So first put the primitive one. One eight everywhere. And now I'm putting the two, one extra atom on the crossing line between these two. So one is here and one is here. You see that only half is inside and here half is inside. The other half is sticking out. So inside I have one eight times eight plus two times one half. So totally two atoms inside. This one is called 
no one is old, you can check. This one is just called centered. And is denoted by the letter C. There is one more type left. And the last type left is this one. When again you start with the primitive cell, having the atoms here. And the rest of them are on every wall. Here there is one. 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 And here there is one. This type is called face center. And is denoted by the letter F. How many atoms inside? Good, four atoms inside. And the reason is we have eight corners times one eighth, and we have six walls times one half, which is four. Good. Now these things can be combined together. Now, important thing to remember, each cell can be primitive. If we, each of them can be primitive, we already have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven different types. And I said there are 14 of them. We are missing seven. And now, too easy to remember, the orthorhombic one, I don't know why, but the name is gone. Orthorhombic can have all possible types. Can be P, can be C, can be I, can be F. Cubic one can be ex everything except C. I will explain in a moment why it cannot be C. Tetragonal one can be P or I. Cannot be C, cannot be F. And monoclinic can be P or C. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All. <coughs> These fourteen combinations are called Brave types.
And turns out that any crystal can be built using these 14 combinations. So now I try to explain to you why the tetragonal one cannot be, for example, C. Imagine that we have tetragonal one. With the C type, it means atoms are here. Here, 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 and here. And because it's C-type, there is one atom here and one atom here. Now, this is wrong type. And the reason why this one is wrong is because if I choose another one to draw, draw it next to it, Then I can choose different unit cell, and the different unit cell will look like that. Okay, this one, the red one is smaller than the white one in volume. It means I didn't choose the unit cell. I choose something larger than the unit cell. Besides, the red one is a primitive one. So you always see that if C would be possible here, then I can always reduce it to the primitive and smaller. So it turns out that I can use smaller unit cell to build the crystal, just in different direction at 45 angles. And that's why people say that the C is not needed. We already have primitive. Primitive is enough to build any C in this tetragonal case. Turns out in the orthorhombic is not the case. OK, another example. Let's take cubic. You see in the cubic there is no C either. So let's try to understand why there is no C for cubic. Okay. If there is C, it means that here there will be another atom, and here there will be another atom. And at the same time, we have this one is equal to A, this one is equal to A, and this one is equal to A. And all the angles are 90 degrees. Well, if this is true, then you see that on this wall there are five atoms, and on this wall there are only four atoms. But the size of the walls is exactly the same. But it's not consistent with physics. If there are five atoms on this wall, they would be repulsing each other much more. Right? So this A and this A would be a bit larger than this A. So my point is that the symmetry of cubic says that if I turn this cube like that or I turn the cube like that, it should look exactly the same. But C doesn't look the same because these two atoms will be traveling. They are not in the same position. And because this is much more crowded, this wall, it means that this A would become larger than this one. And in fact, we are reducing to tetragonal one when the A and B are equal but different than C. But again, there is no C here because I just draw again that it's enough to do the primitive one.
Good. And uh, turns out that for the for the tree clinic, you can build all of them PCIF always using a primitive one. You can always choose a primitive one that is building all of them. Similarly, like the for the tetragonal one, the center one was built by primitive one. 